Okay, I have to tell you guys, I bought Christmas stuff in October. In October, I bought Christmas stuff. It's been sitting in my room in the bag because I haven't looked at it since I bought it. I'm trying to make it like a surprise when Christmas feels appropriate. <laughs> I know that sounds dumb, I know. But I'm telling you now because I do plan to buy more today. As we have established, um, home decor comes really early and then leaves really early. I'm not making the same mistake that I made for Halloween. When I saw all the Halloween stuff beginning of August, I was like, this is wrong. Not, not yet. And then when it was time, it was gone. Not again. Nope. But that's a little later today. It's probably the highlight of my day. I'm really looking forward to it. We're starting the day off with my first run of week eight, aka the last week of my program. Crazy. And obviously that means we start with the coffee. And while I drink said coffee, I am going to get some work done just here at the island. At some point I also have to uh, unpack my suitcase from New York, but that's not right now. I'm slightly concerned that today's class is gonna be 45 minutes. I know the last one is, but I'm like, are both classes 45 on the last week? No, 30, we're good. I can't believe it's my last week. I started in September, now it's November. Crazy. Okay, I'm gonna grind up some work for the next 30 minutes, drink my coffee, go for our run. Welcome to the vlog. It's run time, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little nervous. Can't fully say how ready I feel for this, but I felt that way in the last class and I actually kind of crushed it. So maybe that'll be the same for today. Although the last class I hadn't walked the mass amount of steps that I had over the weekend. So we will see. And welcome to week eight of You Can't Run. Today the focus is on running consistently for 20 minutes. Stretching out the calves, they are tight. I actually did it. I actually did it. I'm low-key honestly shocked there were so many points during that where I was like, no, no, no. Like, I'm gonna walk, but I didn't. You know, I'm just gonna finish stretching, hold on. I actually did it. I actually did it. You can see I'm so sweaty. <sighs> A good chunk of running is that mental game. Like, people say that, but man, is it true. I just successfully ran for 20 minutes straight. Like, literally not a single stop, not a single break. Granted, I'm not running fast. I stuck to a seven kilometer per hour pace and that's what I did all the way through until the end. Then I was like, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit just for the last minute because I believe anyone can do anything for a minute. But halfway through the 20 minutes, I was like, oh my God, I would love to just walk for a second. Not because I really felt like I needed to, but because like in my head, I think that I need to, even though I, my body's fine. Like it feels the same. It's fully mental. Like when I don't believe I can actually run the 20 minutes, I'm more inclined to feel like I need to stop when I don't, if that makes sense. And the instructor keeps like reminding you that it's a mental game, just keep pushing through. And part of why I really wanted to get back into running or get into running in the first place is for the mental game. Like you have to get so mentally strong to keep going. And as somebody that has always been slightly on the weaker side of the mental game, I really like working out that aspect as well. Like it's not just for the body, it's also for the mind. And I genuinely, feel a little bit more mentally strong. I've said this so many times, but confidence, a huge chunk of it is based in keeping the promises you make to yourself. Like if you can't even hold yourself accountable for the things that you want in life, like how do you find confidence? So sticking to this and seeing this program through and like obviously I signed up for the 10K, I just feel more confident in myself because I'm proving to myself that I can do things. Anyways, I'm gonna work here while I cool down because I'm too sweaty to hop in the shower right now. And then in a couple of hours, I'm running some errands with my dad and we're gonna go Christmas shopping. <laughs> good does this look oh my god we switched it up a little bit today with the eggs i actually put in cottage cheese i scrambled it in instead of like my usual shred cheese i saw somebody do that on tiktok and i mean it's a lot of protein so i decided to give it a whirl today lots of spinach in the bowl i love spinach like i would put it in everything so it's just easy to throw in top this with avocado and chili onion crunch and i think it's gonna be really good Mm-hmm, delish, feeling fresh, feeling clean. My dad's coming over in 30, so I really wanna eat this and then I wanna do my hair. It's like 85% dry, so I'm going to blow it out with the Dyson. So that's the plan. Hey 
hair looks great. I'm gonna do a 30 second clean. He's gonna be here literally any second. And when I say clean, I'm just putting things in the sink. Hello. I've got some gnocchis. <gasps> the gnocchis. Oh my god. How was your uh, run today? See, it's a long road to fitness though, isn't it? It's not short. 20 straight minutes and the next class is 45 minutes long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know, I'm a little nervous about it. We'll see how so it goes. So are you going to... Anyways, let's talk uh, about finances. Okay. This is kind of your mix right now, or a proposed mix. Okay. you got all this in GICs. You've got that in cash. This is an alternative investments, fixed income, and equities. You can have stocks that pay dividends or fixed income. Think of bonds. After some investment discussions, we're at Home Depot. I actually don't need anything, but... We're doing a double errand run. He needs to get stuff at Home Depot. I want to get some home decor at HomeSense, which is just right around the corner. And I got to make a couple returns, which is right next to the HomeSense. It works out wonderfully. We get to spend a lovely afternoon together. It's actually <laughs> nice out too. It's not cold. We are in a vest. Look at the Christmas. I think this is the viral one I've seen because the lights twinkle which is so wonderful to see. Look at all of, should I like look? Maybe I should. Do I decorate my tree this year or do I leave it bare like I did last year? Lots of questions. Or maybe like oversized ornaments. I like this tree collar, but I think I'm gonna keep my Sherpa skirt. I gotta look, you know? Oh, look at these ones, massive. Can't believe it's this time of year again. I really cannot. These are kind of cute. Let's go get your grease. That. 60 seconds later, here we are. Look at these ominous clouds. Maybe the rain's gonna come down again. I can have another cozy night with my book. Maybe with some Christmas decor. <laughs> this is bringing so much joy. Look at the Santa. Cute, oh, oh my gosh. Put my cookies in here. <laughs> Oh my god, it's cookie season again. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I'm just looking at everything. There's so much. Oh, do I need this? It's a checkerboard. I know, but it's my vibe. Is it your vibe? Yeah. I'm just gonna hold on to that. You just bought a new cheese board, though, right? Yeah, I saw These chairs are really nice, actually. If I had a table that needed chairs. You like the poof? Whatever that is. Okay, that's obvious, you know, but do I like this one? Oh, the, the one in a, like a wall. It's in a trunk. Kind of cool. I bet you it's expensive. Wait. Oh, no, that's going to slip. It's about, that's... let's see. Oh, it's 50 bucks. Do I like it or is it too rustic? It's cottage. We had a cottage. That would be perfect. Yeah. It's this for me. It's this for me. There's just so much. You I have to like... I don't have a stocking. Then how do you expect to get... Christmas gifts. <laughs> I should put one in my fireplace. Although it's gonna be a little bit of a squeeze for him to get through mine. Not as conventional. He could take a little nap. These are kind of cool. They look like Hershey Kisses. Yeah, they I think probably are. Oh, these little mushrooms are cute. I mean, it's a different vibe, but it's kind of cute. Should I get a wreath? Do I like any of these? Nah, I'm just so happy I can actually shop this now. And it feels kind of appropriate. It's like maybe a tad early. But after seeing like little touches of Christmas in New York and going to the Christmas market, it kind of feels okay. Harry Potter. Happy Christmas. Should I get a nutcracker? I know I don't have one of these. Oh, there's no face on it. That's kind of weird. I think they're kind of creepy, don't you? Well, that one for sure is. I'm very excited about this Christmas tree I got. It's 4.30, we're home, had lots of great chats with my dad. And now, we're gonna do a little Christmas haul. I got a little mug. I will never stop collecting mugs. I'm sorry, I'll never do it. I just wanted a cute little Christmas mug. Get the festive vibes going. And then I got this candle. I like the shape of it, I think it's really cute. And when I'm done with all the wax, it's gonna be a great little bowl to store stuff. Also smells really good, it's woodland musk. I just love like a big, round, low candle. I think they look really nice. I got that, and then <laughs> this I really didn't need. Like, I did not need this, for sure. I already have way too many bowls but I simply could not help myself. I couldn't do it. They were five bucks and I was like, I'm gonna get them. I got four bowls and they're so cute to me. I just love the ribbed edging. It kind of looks like a flower. Like it feels like a girly little bowl to have my soups in. And bowls are my most used dish at the moment because I'm always having soup. So it just felt right. I think they're so pretty. 
Like, is this ridiculous? Well, I know it is. You don't have to tell me. But I'm happy I got it. It's five bucks, 20 bucks for four. Like, it's fine. I have way too many bowls at this point, but worth it. And then I did in fact get the checkered cutting board. Like, this is my vibe. My dad laughed at me. He's like, why are you getting like a, like a literal checkerboard? I'm like, no, no, no. It's, it's a cutting board with a vibe, okay? Thinking of putting it like back here, but you know me, like you know, I had to. And then last thing from HomeSense, I did get the Christmas tree. There were a few of these, but in different kinds of marble. Originally I picked up one that was like a neutral marble, which now I'm like, should I have gotten both? I don't know. And then we saw a dark one, and then we saw like this travertine one. And shockingly enough, I got the one with color. It just felt fitting, I think, for Christmas. It is a green, marble Christmas tree. I love it. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I think it's also just so very classic, you know? It is green as the Christmas trees are. And I thought it was nice for like a pop of color. Like it's gonna look stunning. I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas. I'm so excited. I also got a couple of things two weeks ago now. Oh my God, was that two weeks ago? A week ago? It's upstairs, let me grab it. I've been storing it up here. I popped into Crate and Barrel because I saw they had Christmas stuff and I was like, I just want to glance around and then I saw these cups that matched another cup that I have. The other cup is from Anthropology, but I saw these ones and I, I had to. I got two. I'm sorry. It was a must. It was a must. I will link down below. I can't link the HomeSense stuff because they don't have a website, but I can link these cups and I will link them for you because I feel like we all deserve to have them. Are you kidding? I'm obsessed. Water, wine, cocktail, whatever. <gasps> for the Christmas cocktail competition. No, no, no. I, wait, I'm going to win. I'm determined. So many of you have actually been sending me cocktail ideas for the competition, which thank you. But I have a plan and I'm fairly certain, at the very least, presentation has to win. I just need to nail the taste. That one I haven't thought of. But the aesthetics are going to be spectacular no one's gonna match them i already know anyways merry christmas i'm going to be decorating earlier this year because i'm gonna be away for the first week of december so i want to decorate beforehand so i gotta figure out when sometime in the next like two weeks it's the best time of year okay it's 4 30 now i'm with my dad since one so i'm going to get some work done i gotta go down to the couch and do some editing so i'm gonna be down there and then in 30 minutes it's gonna be dark so i gotta use this time and grind while i have the light <laughs> It's soup o'clock, everybody. I just washed one of my new bowls. I just had to use it tonight. It only feels right. Freaking love it. It is 7.15. I have gotten a good amount of work done. I have like a few more hours tomorrow, but the vlog will be good to go. Hopefully for noon. I always aim for noon, but sometimes that doesn't always happen. Tomorrow's Friday. I have a pretty chill weekend, which I'm trying to keep that way. But I think tomorrow for the start of the weekend, I'm going to try. Oh my God, wait, I didn't even show you. We have the Trader Joe's dupes. My mom got the uh, sweet potato one, butter sage sweet potato gnocchi the other day. I am pretty certain these are gonna be like exact dupes. Trader Joe's, President's Choice, both butter sage sauces. Like I just feel like they're gonna be the same. The instructions are the same. I am so intrigued. If this is genuinely a dupe, I'm gonna be so happy that it's accessible to me and I don't have to like stockpile the way that I have. And then we have the classic cauliflower. I'm also certain these are gonna be the exact same, but we'll see. I'm gonna give them a whirl. You guys know me and my Trader Joe's gnocchi. So I will be giving you my personal review. This is huge for the Canadians. It's huge for us. We will see. I have high hopes. President's choice, you better not disappoint. Um, top with a little chili onion crunch and then we're down to the couch. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we're down to the couch. <laughs> This is perfect. Bubbly, soup, and an episode of The Summer I Turned Pretty. It's now 10.19. I was definitely planning on getting into bed and reading Iron Flame, but then it was still kind of early after I finished my episode of The Summer I Turned Pretty. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do an hour of editing. I'll edit till nine. And then nine came around very fast. And I was like, mm, 9.30. And then I was like, okay, 10. And then I was like, you know what? We'll stop when my computer's almost dead. And now it's at 2%. I have 30 minutes left of editing and I could keep going now, but I'm just gonna leave that for the morning because I 
am ready to crawl into bed and I can do it tomorrow. But I'm actually really glad that I decided to do these last couple hours because now that is one less thing that I have to do tomorrow. And then I can definitely get it up for 12. So now I'm crawling into bed and I will see you tomorrow evening when I am making some gnocchi. It is time. It's been a wonderful Friday. I went out for a nice little walk in the afternoon. It's a great fresh day out there, but it is time. And I have really high expectations. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like probably too high. I just feel like it's gonna be the exact same as Trader Joe's. Like I can smell it already. It's, it's gonna be the exact same. So I'm gonna make it the same way that I would make my Trader Joe's one, which is using more water than recommended. So it's a little saucier. No, it literally looks the exact same. Set four minute timer. This just doesn't feel real to me. Like that this would be accessible to me here now. Obviously I've had like a good stock. It's not like I have a problem getting it, but just knowing it's here, like if I could tell my 2020 self that just moved here, like don't worry in a few years, it's gonna be at Loblaws. Amazing. It's the exact same. It's the same, I know it. Sweet potato, wheat flour, potato, water. Oh my God, it's the exact same. Like in order. It's the exact, oh wait. It seems like the Canadian version has mustard. We'll see about that. It's about to be a crazy night. This is crazy. I'm so excited. Stop timer. It looks the same. Now I'm just gonna cook it until the sauce gets less watery. Some Cajun, garlic. It's gonna come down to the sauce here. So we're gonna try the sauce on its own. I trust the gnocchi is gonna be delicious. I trust that this is gonna taste like Trader Joe's. I always season it with salt, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and then some pepper. It's here. I can't even believe it. Like I can, but I can't. This is accessible whenever I want it now. This is a dream. Bowl of gnocchi. Let's do our official taste test. Sauce, gnocchi. This is a wonderful day. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly what I expected. I just can't believe that this is real. Mm. Okay, two things. One, I feel like the gnocchi has more shape. I feel like the Trader Joe's one is just like a little bit mushier. And then also I feel like there's more of a sage flavor. Maybe that's just me like trying to find something different. I'm sure if you put the Trader Joe's and this one side by side, I would not know which was which. Mm. But man, is that good. Maybe I'll try the cauliflower gnocchi on Sunday. I'm gonna pick this vlog up on Sunday. Tomorrow I have plans during the day and then I'm gonna have a chill night. And then Sunday I will pick up the vlog. So I'm gonna go eat that. And I will see you then. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna make a new drink. Okay, I know by the time this is live, this is kind of old news, but I have to say something about it because I'm dying. I've never been like super invested in the Taylor Swift drama with her old boyfriends. Like I've, I've kept up a little bit, but not super invested. Karma is a guy on the Chiefs. Oh, invested. I am. Her and Travis Kelsey, something about it is just giving Endgame. And to me, it's just giving me all the feels and I'm living for it. I've been watching all of the TikToks. This just happened last night. So I was just scrolling and it was every single one. Every single one of the 40 page was Karma and then her running up to him and kissing him. It was the cutest thing of all time. Like I am just, I'm invested. Like I'm understanding, I'm starting to get it. Anyways, happy Sunday. Yesterday was a wonderful Saturday. I went for a lovely stroll downtown, had a good little afternoon, and then I had a nice cozy night in and I cleaned and I'm feeling much better about my space because the kitchen was like disgusting. Now it's Sunday and I have a little brunch with Maddie. I'm really excited to catch up with her, but I'm going to make myself a fun little beverageino this morning. I've been wanting to try this for a while and I feel like today is the day. So we're starting with the skinny chai latte. I have not made a chai in so long. Wait, I had an idea. I'm finally going to use my new cup. This cute one with the hearts. Okay, we're gonna be making a pumpkin chai. And we're gonna actually measure so that hopefully I can do this again and again if it tastes good. So we're gonna do half a cup of the chai, half a cup of the Trader Joe's pumpkin oat beverage. And then lastly, I'm gonna put some caramel brulee. I would do the brown sugar, but I don't really wanna open one until I finish this one. Sploosh. They taste the same anyways. Yum. I haven't made an ice drink at home in so long, but also who was around for when I was making chai lattes all the time? Like I used to make so many of these. I go through phases of my favorite drinks, we all know. My breakfast, like I, I have my phases. Done, perfection, yum. It's exactly what I wanted. It was that easy. Will I be hyper fixating on this? 
probably. I have like two hours until I'm leaving for brunch, so I'm going to do a combo of reading Iron Flame because I need to get further into it. I've been very like slow with this one. I think subconsciously I just don't want to fly through it because I want to have it and enjoy it for a while because there will not be a third book for the foreseeable future. There will be a third book eventually, I just don't know when, so I'm trying to really savor it. And then also I would like to get a little bit of work done just to get ahead of the week. I always like when I can do that, so I think I'm going to start with work stuff and then I will switch over to reading if I feel like it. I will probably get sucked into the editing hole and then I won't emerge and I'll just read tonight. That sounds better anyways. <laughs> Great productive morning. Now I need to get ready in the next five to seven minutes. Would like to lean closer to five to make it on time. But I always have like a few minute flex when I get together with Maddie because Maddie is notoriously late. So I always factor in that I do have a few extra minutes. Or really I should be ready in five. Like calling my Uber in five minutes. And one thing that I do kind of pride myself on is that I can get ready really fast. Like if I have to, I can do it. If I have a ton of time, it's fun to spend more time on my makeup. But if I don't, I can be pretty efficient with it. And that is what we're going to aim for today. Efficiency. Four minutes. Done. I'm calling my Uber right now, and that means I have until now, until the Uber arrives, to get dressed. I'm just gonna throw on whatever, like it doesn't really matter. One kitchen. I've never been, I'm really excited. Perfect. I will be five minutes late. That, that feels appropriate. Okay, let's get dressed. Just living life on the edge. I actually hate when I do this. It's never like a planned thing. <laughs> Seven minutes, that won't work for sure. Oh, uh, well, maybe it will. I have six minutes, that's actually plenty of time. I'm good. We're good. Okay, one minute until my Uber is here. I am so excited that it's a season for me to be wearing these Prada boots again. I got them two years ago now, and I love them. They're so comfy. My suitcase is in fact still on the ground from New York. I've been back for almost a week. That's fine. This is what we're wearing, I think. Yeah, this is cute. It's brunch time. cutest place. Look at this view. <laughs> 4 15. We got like 20 minutes of sun left and then the day is over. I will say there are a couple perks. I'm trying to find the positives of the short days. First thing, I can get into an earlier bath and it's gonna be dark out. Like I feel like it's weird to get into a bath when it's light still. Then I have a 5 p.m. bath and it's gonna be nice and cozy. I also kind of like that I feel like I had the whole day out even though I was only out for a few hours, but now it's, well, I don't know if this is a perk, honestly, because now the day is over and I was only out for three hours. <laughs> Anyways, so Maddie and I walked to Farm Boy. I got my favorite dip, which is the Ediyami. I love this. I also got two soups. I'm not gonna make a soup this week. We got mushroom kale, and then we also got the roasted butternut squash. I love butternut squash soup. But tonight I'm actually gonna try the cauliflower gnocchi from President's Choice. Just to wrap up my comparison here of the Trader Joe's gnocchi. It's very important. <laughs> I was reading Iron Flame in the car. It is so good. This is such a good book. I can't wait to read more of it tonight, like in the bath. But I think I'm gonna get some work done until it gets dark. So just until five, I figure I may as well. I'm gonna do it from the couch. So it feels like still Sunday chill time, but I am being productive and getting things done so that I can have a nice, good week. Great brunch with Maddie. The food there at One Kitchen was so good. Like so good. My omelet was amazing. The home fries were the best I've ever had. Like the perfect crisp, the perfect, mm. oh, they were so good. Got to walk by the water on the way to Maddie's and obviously stopped at Farm Boy. Overall, great outing, great weekend. And now we're here. <laughs> It's only a little late for this, but the ghosty will be used. That bath was so nice. It was actually so needed. My body has been feeling so sore. Simply put, my body is just not used to doing this much activity. Like I'm going on long walks pretty much every single day. I'm doing my two runs a week and it just seems like my body can't catch up. <laughs> so I've just been feeling kind of stiff and that was such a wonderful bath. Like that was, it was just so warm in there. 
I loved it. It was perfect. And now, it's dinner time. It's seven now, I did a chunk of reading. It's a nice long bath. The legs honestly still feel pretty sore, but I'm hoping they feel okay tomorrow because I am planning to do my last run of the eight week program tomorrow. I'm honestly kind of very nervous for it. Basically the whole program is leading you up to this last class where you can run for 30 minutes straight with no stopping. It's a 45 minute class, so I'm sure it's gonna be like 15 minutes warm up or 10 minutes and then like a five minute cool down at the end. But I'm honestly nervous because I just don't feel like I would be able to do that. But if I could run the 20 minutes, the last class, like maybe, I'm definitely nervous, which is funny because nobody's watching me do this. Like, it's purely me. I just, you know, I've been working towards this 30 minute run and I hope I can do it. We'll see. Anyways, it's gnocchi time. I am so excited to see how this is. Okay, so here's the President's Choice gnocchi versus the Trader Joe's. I am gonna cook it the same way I do the Trader Joe's one. I think it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so I always do three minutes on one side, flip them three minutes on the other side, and then it's perfect. Also, I'm loving the way the side of the kitchen looks. It's finally cute. Like, I actually like what's happening here. Right in time for Christmas. When is it gonna change? It's looking the same as Trader Joe's. This looks freaking delicious. I don't have a single doubt in my mind this is gonna taste exactly the same as Trader Joe's. Like, I have no doubts, but I will do a taste test with you guys. I use my Trader Joe's sauce, spinach, garlic. Yeah, it is the same. I knew they would be, honestly. As soon as I saw the sweet potato one had the sage and butter sauce, I was like, this is the same. Same manufacturers, for sure, different packaging. It's as simple as that. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday here. I got a really busy week ahead, lots going on lots of events it's gonna be a really really fun week but i just want to soak up these last few hours of my sunday i'm gonna take this to the couch watch an episode of a show and then up to bed to read my book <laughs> all right guys it is the end of the night crawling in i'm getting back to my book world i love it here this is so good it's so good i can't even imagine liking any other fantasy book more than i love this in this series because oof i'm so glad there's gonna be so many books but i know i'm gonna have to wait years for the next ones anyways i'm crawling in if you made it to the end of the vlog comment your favorite book of all time in the comments with a little summary. I gotta add to the TBR. Even though it's already so long, I just love hearing people's favorite books. Anyways, love you. See you in the next vlog.